just an average day hanging out your washing, but then the ground drops away from under your feet. Christina Beaumont from Melbourne was doing just that when she was swallowed up by a huge sinkhole. The mother of six fell down into the three-metre hole and was left floating in a pool of water after the earth collapsed around her. She was trapped for more than 20 minutes before a neighbour heard her screams for help and called the emergency services. Extremely unbelievable. Very, very lucky lady. In order to get her out of the giant sinkhole, firemen threw a rope down into it and dragged her out. The woman was taken to hospital following the fall but was not seriously injured. It's thought a leaking or burst water pipe caused the earth to give way and created the massive sinkhole. A round of golf for a group of men in Illinois was anything but relaxing. One of the men fell into an 18-foot deep sinkhole that opened up beneath him on the fairway of the 14th hole. He dislocated his uh, shoulder in the fall and he wasn't able to climb out, but good news, one of his buddies climbed into that hole, put a rope around him, and he was pulled to safety. And I don't know about you, Wolf, but I keep wondering, what is all of this with all these sinkholes? We I know. keep hearing problems of sinkholes. All of a sudden, Not sinkholes. Good. Who yeah. knew? No. A report out of Florida tonight is a reminder to millions of Americans there is a strange and dangerous vulnerability underground, sinkholes. A man was in his bedroom. The earth opened up beneath the house and he fell in. ABC's Matt Gutman shows us the science of what happened in Florida and how to know what's under your house. Horror struck the little house on Faithway Drive just before midnight. The house just fell through. These 911 tapes reveal the terror inside that house. The bedroom floor just collapsed and my brother-in-law is in there and he's underneath the house. A sinkhole some 30 feet across and up to 100 feet deep opened up directly beneath Jeff Bush's bedroom. His brother Jeremy says he tried desperately to save him. I jumped in the hole and was trying to dig him out. I couldn't find him. I just started digging and started digging and started digging and then the cops showed up and pulled me out of the hole and told me the floor was still falling in. Jeremy was rescued by police, but his brother is believed dead. The house condemned. The Bush family says they had no idea they lived under a geological time bomb. This part of Florida is known as Sinkhole Alley. Florida is riddled with them. Look at these. All reported sinkholes in Florida since 1954, more than 3,000 since the 80s. Seven other states are classified as sinkhole prone, covering up to 40% of the country. Sinkholes generally form when limestone is eaten away by water, but the land above it stays intact until it dramatically gives way. It literally burns through it the rock. It burns through the rock. Now we're talking hundreds of thousands of years. The result? Sinkholes like this one in Florida growing to the size of a football field in a single day in 1981. This Texas-sized sinkhole in Houston devouring a tractor. Are there any ways to detect whether or not you have a sinkhole in or around your house? Very expensive and difficult to do. Uh, and it might only be good for as long as the test is done. Experts say it's extremely rare to be hurt by a sinkhole, but there are things you can do to protect your family and your house. Take a look at the walls. Are they cracking? Take a look at the doors. Are they harder to open and close? And, of course, fences and vegetation outside. If those things have moved, you might want to get your house looked at. Growing fear in a Florida neighborhood tonight with that giant sinkhole now widening. For much of the week, all eyes have been on the home here behind me. It looks fine above ground, but it's what's beneath that home, a giant sinkhole, that claimed one family member already. It's believed to be growing larger tonight, already up to 100 feet deep. And this evening, authorities are now warning neighbors on each side of the home that they could see their homes go next. ABC's Gio Benitez is in Sefner, Florida for us tonight. Gio. David, we've just learned that rescue mission has been called off. That man swallowed up by that sinkhole simply can't be found. And tension is rising as more and more homes here are deemed dangerous. As a family mourns the fate of 37-year-old Jeff Bush, workers use this heavy machinery to test the ground surrounding the massive sinkhole. We determined that the house right next to the houses that's actually damaged is also compromised. 
That's right, this house and now this house are also in danger of being swallowed up by the same sinkhole that took Bush and his bedroom 100 feet underground Thursday. His body possibly lost forever. I really don't think there's any hope. They say the hole keeps getting bigger and I don't think they're going to be able to find him. This part of Florida is known as Sinkhole Alley. Just look at how many sinkholes have been recorded here in the last 60 years. Incredibly, about 40% of the nation is prone to sinkholes. They form when water eats away at limestone underground. The land above stays intact, then comes the dramatic collapse. How rare is what we've seen here? Well, certainly you get at least dozens of sinkholes a year. But to have one occur right in the center of a home and certainly to injure and even kill somebody, is, I've never heard of that happening before. He says people usually know when a sinkhole is forming. You normally have enough time to move out of the way. And in this case, he didn't. No, strangely sudden. Perhaps the families next door are getting that life-saving warning. They were given 20 minutes to collect their belongings before abandoning their homes. Tonight, Bush's brother is left mourning but thankful so many others got out alive. I thank the Lord for not taking my daughter and the rest of my family. And the house with the sinkhole will be demolished tomorrow morning because we're told it is entirely unstable. Now to that deadly sinkhole in Florida. We showed you the first pictures of that 100 foot deep crater. And we're learning now about another sinkhole opening up nearby. ABC's Gio Benitez is on the scene right now in a community very much on edge in Sefner, Florida. Good morning, Gio. Good morning to you, Robin. You know, when you see this sinkhole, you're really only looking at the opening. But underground, we're told, it is so big that much of this ground behind me could be completely hollow. Just as this massive and deadly sinkhole was coming into view for the first time Monday, incredibly, just about two miles away, the earth caved yet again. Residents of Cedar Tree Lane now wondering this morning whether the five feet deep, 12 feet wide sinkhole could grow, endangering their homes. We're all worried. Oh God, it's scary. This is a town on the edge. Residents fearing the horror that swallowed up 37 year old Jeff Bush sleeping on his bed Thursday night could happen again. ABC News has learned that sinkhole, about 30 feet wide and 100 feet deep, actually expands underground and could reach underneath the two neighboring homes, putting both at risk. There is no one allowed in those homes, and there will be a determination made if they're condemned in the coming weeks. As crews demolished Bush's house, they delicately collected what was hanging on the wall, his jacket and hat. His brother Jeremy needs them for closure. I want to let him know that I love him. I tried my hardest to get you out, bro. Jeremy's grief now turning to frustration, asking why his brother's body can't be removed from that sinkhole. Can't somebody be harnessed up like they was before on that equipment and try, try and rescue him? Are you, are you trying to recover him? Authorities say they wish they could. Putting people in harm's way, any additional loss of life would have made this tragedy even worse. Crews ended the demolition by dropping flowers into what is now Jeff Bush's grave. This sinkhole has now been filled with gravel to stabilize it. Meanwhile, at that new sinkhole, nobody was hurt. Robin. All right, Gia, thank you. This is one crack in the pavement like you've never seen before. An unfortunate teenager in China is minding her own business when she vanishes into a hole in the street formed by water erosion beneath. A passing taxi driver rushes to her aid, and the girl, although she's knocked unconscious by the fall, isn't seriously injured. This is from Taiwan, where closed circuit cameras captured a man being swallowed up by a sinkhole. This is during a typhoon. It happened this morning at the Temple of the Sansha, an important historical site in Taipei. Firemen were called to the scene, but they were just too late to save that victim. Really sad annex. It's a shocking video. Yeah. 
Frantic call for help. The mother and son plummeting into a sinkhole trapped in their car. Here's ABC's Alex Perez outside Chicago tonight. It happened in seconds before Juanita Pineda and her 15 year old son Benjamin could react. The road swallowing their car with them in it. You can hear the panic as she frantically dialed 911. Hello? Yes, please help. Juanita and Benjamin were out delivering newspapers just before 4 a.m. Tuesday, driving down a dark road in rural Illinois. When their Ford Taurus tumbled into the broad sinkhole, the road had given way after epic rains in June, double the average for the region. Mother and son were trapped. Benjamin was hurt. Then a bad situation got worse. A pickup truck literally drives over them. Another car! Okay, what just happened? I don't know! Another car just left! That pickup driver turns around. No, no! Are you talking to me? Yes, your dad went over me! Oh my god! Oh my god, are you okay? My son, I need help, my son, please! With Benjamin injured and bleeding, patience quickly grows thin. It felt like an hour, two hour wait, three hour wait. It, it felt like an eternity. Benjamin has fractured ribs and cuts all over his body, but is expected to make a full recovery. For his mom, he says. It hurts so much, I'll stay strong. You told her even though it hurts so much, you're going to stay strong for her. Yeah. Mother and son grateful to be alive after surviving a nightmare. Alex Perez, ABC News, Chicago. A sinkhole suddenly opens up, swallowing a security guard. The horrifying moment captured by cameras in Shenzhen City, China. Yang Xibing was buried as people tried to reach him. Just moments earlier, residents had complained of tremors coming from a nearby construction site. An investigation is now underway as workers fill the hole with sandbags. Frightening surveillance footage from South Korea captures two people falling into a sinkhole. Watch this. The sidewalk just suddenly collapsed right under their feet. They fell nearly 10 feet, but only suffered minor injuries. Wow.